And that's Bless Akasibrim Pong featuring your metal. Beautiful aesthetics there. Initially, when I saw you in that car, I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> we move away from flowers and we are driving Porsche cars now in gospel music videos, you know. Oh, and then I saw you on the street. So it's, it touches on a bit of everything. Exactly. And it touches almost everybody's exactly. life. Exactly. So um, yeah. tell me what went into shooting the video. Um, so it was shot by director Elon. And, you know, uh, we just called him up for him to listen to the song, to try to, you know, draft a concept for it. We thought that um, we should make this an everyday song. Mm. So, like you rightly mentioned, we're trying to touch um, everyday things, everyday people, um, letting people understand that no matter what they go through, they are blessed. So, the market scenes, you know, the young people driving on the streets and all of that. So, we just um, wanted to make it an everyday song for everyday people, just get people to understand that they are blessed. Get people to understand your blessing, and I'm sure the message is good. This is the song that they say you got your metal dancing. Yeah. Uh, that's a signature dance. That's no new dance. He tried some new dance. <laughs> he tried some new dance. Yeah. Eh? But it's not in this video. Oh, I didn't oh, see it. Eh? You didn't see him do the... Hey, then I didn't see that one. I thought it's oh. the one that he'll move his leg from leg from right to left. Then <laughs> that, that one, yeah, he's a signature dance. But I read a story like that, that you, you got him dancing in yeah. this video. Now, let's talk about the sector you belong to. I've mm -hmm. seen publications where you've talked about how, you know, there's a need to give more attention mm -hmm. to gospel music. Yeah. And people have said gospel music music had got the attention oh, no i think you said that gospel music is getting the attention now which which of them did you say i, I said there was a shift in the mm. you know gospel circles i said there was a shift in the music circles mm. generally and even in the gospel circles there's been a shift um traditional gospel used to be on the fore and contemporary gospel used to be on the back burner but you realize that the past three, four years, mm -hmm. there's been a shift and contemporary gospel is on the fore now. And so um, even within, you know, the gospel, I mean, the music circles in Ghana, you realize that gospel has been on the back burner for some time, for a long time. Mm -hmm. And it was through, you know, Joe Metal that gospel music, we ever had, you know, an artist of the year through gospel music. And so I believe that gospel music is getting some kind of traction now than it used to have. Even in the gospel circles, contemporary gospel music is getting more traction now. So it's the issues about contemporary gospel music or even traditional because you know when I saw that article something just something said to me that but there were there was a time back in the day mm -hmm. where every program would have to start with a gospel tune. These days, we don't have that. Like, the format has really changed. People can just decide that, oh, we're starting with something secular, and they cannot be bothered. But initially, they would go hard gospel, start a program with gospel. And most of the time, the argument has we been... We only started the programs. How okay. many gospel artists were on, the, on, on those programs as compared to, you know, secular artists? You just have one gospel artist and 15 secular artists. Mm. But now, even when it comes to streaming, you realize that... Um, Diana, we, really, we, we, we just got told by Billboard that Diana is the most streamed gospel musician. Mm -hmm. And even that, the, the most streamed musicians in Ghana, Diana is number four, mm -hmm. which is really good for gospel. You realize that gospel, when even st these streaming platforms started, we didn't have gospel musicians on them. Mm. I remember back in the day, I think about five years ago, six years ago, um, Chrissy Otim was probably the only gospel musician on Deezer. Mm. You know, but the, the tables have turned. We have a lot more gospel musicians and, you know, the likes of Joe Metal are trending every day on, you know, Apple Music. I guess Brimpon released a song and it trended on Apple Music. It didn't used to be the case. So if you, if you look at the, the, the music scenes the past, say, 10 years, you realize that the past five years, gospel music is doing way better than it used to do. You mentioned Dinah's uh, placing fourth mm -hmm. on uh, Billboard Top uh, 5 artists uh, per their metrics from May 2019 to May 2020. Yeah. A lot of people have had issues with that, you know. Even though the numbers are clear, I've seen them put the uh, figures and all of that out. Mm. There are people who feel that, okay, this is going to bring some division. Again, because of what had happened with Joe Metal and Patients in the past, uh, people thought that, okay, now putting her here and making all the others feel like, okay, they are not really doing anything, will become another conversation that will up generate something else. So up your game. You know, she, she put in the work, and the work is yielding 
all those results. So why be fair? If she put in the work to get where she, she got, just put in the work too, and you, you, can, you can get where she is. They said there's a new clique, and you kept mentioning Joe Metal. Uh, uh, apparently, he's part of the new clique. New clique. So there's a new clique of contemporary young gospel artists, and you guys seem to be in sync with each other, supporting each other and all of that. So I've heard Joe Metal emoji yourself, and, and it looks like it's true because I've been to concerts where all of you are on the front line, you know, like, you know, <laughs> so it looks like it's true that there's the thing a about The thing about these guys that you call click is that we have, we've been friends for the past, say, eight to ten years when we were not even recording artists. Hmm. I remember me, Chrissy Otin, Joe Metal, sitting at um, Walk In years ago, working at Circle, mm -hmm. discussing our music and where we want to move it wow. years ago. Before Joe was Joe and Chrissy Oti was Chrissy Oti and I'm a Kessie Brempo, a Kessie Brempo, you know? And so we, it's, it's just relationships we have grown over the years, okay? And we've learned to support each other. I think that it is, it is out of place to try to tag anybody for, you know, um, trying to help a friend and the brother out. The thing you should, what you should rather be doing is, is understand what is between these artists that you, you think are forming cliques, okay? And understand why they are what they are and try to be like that. I think it is, is way better than, you know, beefing and, you know, backbiting and all of those things. Do you agree that there's competition in the gospel music industry? I, I, I disagree that there is. Um, we are supposed to be you know, compatriots and supposed to be complementing each other. When I am doing a song and I, I need a, a, a different feel to the song, I know who to call, and, and within my circles, I know who to call to give me that feel. Okay, so they say Akes Brimpong is the gospel reggae campaign. That is the niche. Okay, now there's, there's the Afrobeat side of things. When you are talking about Chrissy Oti, we're talking about the rocker. You know, that people have distinguished themselves in what they do, and that is what makes them who they are. And so try to find a distinguishing factor for what you but, do. But, but if you say you disagree that there's some competition, at least in some, the past few weeks, we realized that if we ever thought that they were not competing as gospel musicians, these people are truly competing. The conversation has been on and on. No, I think that somebody has been talking. I haven't heard from the other side. And so there's no competition. If, I, if you said something about me and I came back to, you know, re, for, with a red butter or something, then we're actually in competition. That is it to go to tell that there are some people who also might not be speaking directly into the microphone, but we also have issues with what is going on. And being, having your friend, your metal, and a brother being mm -hmm. tagged as, in quotes, superior over all the others. You know? I, don't, I don't think that was, you know, the conversation. But that's but, what it's been made to look like. I think that we need to detach all of those, you know, issues of the real conversation. The real conversation was who would be called mm -hmm. when there is an international, international gig, gig mm. and who has international appeal. And it's not by reason of, you know, um, only the songs they have churned out, but the audience they have garnered over the years on Spotify alone. Last time I checked, he had 53,000 followers mm. on Spotify alone. And that is, that is good. That is huge. It means that there are people. And Spotify is not even in Ghana. Okay. So, I mean, he's, he has been able to invest in systems that makes him appealing to the international market. Mm. Should that be an issue? No. I don't think it should be an issue. What we should be looking at is how he did it and how we can also tap, tap into, into it. That. And, you know, detach ourselves from all of those other issues. And I think it's the emotional issues. Let's just detach ourselves but from But you that. also have some international appeal before I let you go. I hear you, you do great or you're doing great in Nigeria, especially with Crazy Love. I think there was a Nigerian who also did a remix with you. Uh, it was Crazy Love remix mm -hmm. that you did with yeah. him. Yeah. And also God is working. I hear that Nigerians love it as, as well. And that got you traveling to Nigeria as well. Um, yeah, I've done uh, some travels to Nigeria. Um, last year in November, I was on Africa 
um, ag uh, was the ag no, um, there was an African thing where we, they choose artists from across Africa to record an album. Okay, and I was chosen from Ghana to record an album in South Africa with some wow. um, South African artists, um, others from you know across the continent. Yeah. So yeah, the, the international appeal is coming, it's there, it's building up. And our team is, you know, doing a lot of. And you work. have something we pre your day day. Is it your song or his song? On his album. Oh, you on have it on his album. album. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to you. Thank you seem you. to be doing well. I hope you're making money. We are making some good money. <laughs> 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 All right, that'll be it for our conversation with our Kessie Brief. But let's do my favorite song before you go. Which one? God is working. He is up to something. something. I may and not see it. it. Still, I'm trusting. Hey, God is working. He's working. He's working. God is working. 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 Okay, so you give me crazy love. You give me crazy love. You give me crazy love. You give me. Anyway, thank you very much. I can see very for joining us. We enjoyed the conversation. I appreciate it. Thank you. That'll be it.